so excited. Look at this place. We're a brand new gaming channel and we get access to a place like this. Can you believe it? I can't. Let's do this. Yes. Hello, my name is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today, I want to show you a brand new plugin called M Channel 8 Bit. Now, the reason I'm showing you this plugin is because Motion VFX is no longer a plugin company. That's right. All we do is video games. I'm, I'm just kidding. That's not true. We still make the greatest plugins in the world for Final Cut Pro and Apple Motion, but our newest plugin is called M Channel 8 Bit, and it's awesome, especially if you have a channel dedicated to gaming. So check it out. You're going to see a lot of really cool things, and I'm winning, so I got to let you go. So here we are in Apple's Final Cut Pro, and we're going to really quickly look at M Channel 8 Bit, the brand new plugin from Motion VFX. You can locate M Channel 8 Bit in the titles as well as in your transitions. M Channel 8 Bit comes with 18 add ons, as you can see here. These are all pre animated, of course, with your alpha channel so that you can quickly overlay these onto your footage. M Channel 8 Bit also comes with six different unique pre animated backgrounds. You have six different options for intros for your video. You have 10 lower thirds. You have one opener set up as a very long, nice template with lots of different drop zones and options. You have six separate overlays. We have nine pre-animated social media options. And lastly, we have nine separate titles. So why don't we really quickly look over at the intro that you just saw. As you can see here, we're using intro number four, and we've just set that up to be sort of an overlay over this shot of my hands playing this game. Now all of these are set up as titles, so all of your parameters will always be located in the title section of your inspector. As you can see here in our first text, we have the option loading, please wait, but of course we can modify that to whatever we would like. We are able to make changes to the parameters of the bar's height in case you have more text that you want to put in there. Colors are adjustable as well. And as we scroll down a bit more, we can see that we have our drop zone. And that is, of course, going to be the awesome Motion VFX logo that we have applied there. You are able to scale this content up or down using our on-screen controls. Let's move forward to this next scene because this was a really fun piece to put together. As you can see here, we have our content on the screen. However, we are actually using this in conjunction with M Tracker 3D, our 3D tracking plugin from MotionVFX.com. So you can see here that our elements are being tracked in position of our scene. Now, the way we did this is we used M Tracker 3D on this clip. We have many tutorials on how to use M Tracker 3D, but we went in and we copied our track and we used the Drop Zone 1 from M Tracker 3D on all of these different elements. Now, with our drop zones, we needed to use a compound clip of our titles in order for that animation to hold. So let me disable this really quickly. 
and I can open up some of these. We take our title element and by pressing option G, we create a compound clip so that that element is still animated inside of our drop zone. We then work with our tracker to just place those in position. And that was so much fun to do. So let's skip ahead and you can see here that this is our loading episode one title number four preset. Now this content can of course be scaled and adjusted so that we don't want the title over my face so I can really easily and really quickly use those on-screen controls to drag that down and scale it appropriately. And we also have this red overlay that we can change the color as well. Or we can simply turn our background colorize off. Moving forward, we get into some of our transitions here. So you can see this transition brings me in with these other elements, pixelates, and then pushes out into the next scene. All of our colors are, of course, fully adjustable, as well as the thickness of our outlines. And we can adjust the amount of pixelation that occurs in the center with this slider here. We go into another transition and then we go into this section here where you can see that we have our lower third number three and we have a background setup. Now I did this by adjusting the crop on my clip here so that the composition would be over our background frame. And as always with our background, we of course can go in and we can make adjustments to our color, our scale, our points, etc. And with our title, everything is adjusted automatically for you so that as you make changes to your text, your outline will be adjusted as well. And you have the on-screen controls to very quickly and very easily set that up. There are also pre-installed fonts that come with M Channel 8-bit. Now you can see these titles add-on number 7 and add-on number 8 as well have the on-screen controls so that you're able to make adjustments really quickly of your elements you are able to adjust that title as well, colors, etc. At on number eight, you are able to take your on-screen controls and your mouse will follow that point, which is really awesome. So why don't we take a look at applying a transition between these two clips and how simple Motion VFX makes this. Let's go over to our transitions M channel 8 bit, you can see that you have eight different transitions. It is very simple, just drag and drop in between your clips, and you have an incredible pre animated gaming themed transition. Preset looks incredible. Of course, you can make any changes that you want to our text. As with any transition, if you grab and drag in or out, you can change the duration of that transition. Let's take a look at our next clip here and why don't we add a title? Why don't we add some add-ons here and we can use a background as well. So let's bring our background in beneath our clip and scale our clip down just a bit. We'll drag our background in, so you can see here that our background is now beneath our clip. So why don't we add a transition? You can see M Channel 8-Bit has eight different preset transitions here. So why don't we just pick up transition number three and drag this onto our clip. 
You can see here that that opens up our transition. Now notice we do have a black background before we see our scene. That's okay if we want to right click on that transition and go transition to from black. Let's uncheck that and you can see that that has that transparency now. Machine. Why don't we also add some add-ons to make our video a little bit more dynamic. We can simply pick them up and drag them onto our clip and you'll see that they are pre-animated and of course we do have our on-screen controls to make those super quick adjustments. Once again, this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Thank you for checking out M Channel 8-Bit, now available from MotionVFX.com. We'd like to take just a second to thank Shindig Family Entertainment for allowing us to come in and film in their awesome arcade. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.